this. Oh my goodness, the humidity is high today and you can tell. I don't normally prep myself for videos because you just get me as I am. And then I turn on the camera and I'm like, I really should have looked in the mirror first. But that's not this video. Earlier today, I filmed kind of a week and a half grocery haul. And in that video, I shared um, a three pound container of ground turkey that I picked up for $5. So it's three pounds. In this video, that's right there, I am browning it. <laughs> I am browning it as I film this. In this video, I wanna share with you how I'm turning that three pounds of ground turkey into four meals for our family. I will try to share with you the cost of everything that, um, or for each meal that I end up using for this. Um, typically, a three pound tub of ground, it, the, not the container, but the little tube, a three pound tube of ground turkey at Walmart is $7. Except for a few days ago, I'm pretty sure I saw eight forty-seven, so it might have gone up. So um, bear that in mind that it, this could end up costing you an extra three dollars than what I do here. But on the other hand, you could save some money. So let's get into this video. I just browned up this meat, and let me share with you how I'm doing the base of it. So the base of this ground turkey is. Um, onion and garlic and in a little bit I'm going to add some beet greens which will work with all three me all four meals I'm doing four meals which will work with all four meals with this three pounds of ground turkey and um, I have a onion in here the onion is from the food mobile food pantry um, but again I will put the cost of just making the base on this side right here um, and I'm not going to add in the beet greens because this is just something I have and it's something that I'm going to add a little bit extra to our food because it, we have it and it's nutrition and it's not going to go to waste. But not everybody does. So I will not add that to this side here for your cost. But again, we've got our three pounds of ground turkey, one onion, um, about three cloves of garlic because that's the last I had of my car garlic um head and um some homemade taco seasoning you can pick up a taco seasoning packet for about 58 cents i believe and so my suggestion would be to pick up three one for each pound of meat um especially because we're going to add a little bit more to this meat later and that will help flavor it so here we go, here are the four meals that I'm going to make with this ground turkey. Okay, here is the first recipe that I'm making using that taco meat. So normally I put um, a can of black beans in this, but I currently am out of uh, black beans in the freezer, which is hooray, that's what I was aiming for. So um, I had a jar of pinto beans in the freezer. so. We went with that, and so there is uh, pinto beans in here, one portion of the taco meat, some meat tops, and we are going to serve this as a taco salad. So we have some of the salad from the food trucks as well. Well, this is not as well, but some of the salad from our mobile food pantry. I also have some... I need to scrub it more. We also have some homemade sauerkraut. This isn't from Aldi. We just used the Aldi jar, but this is um, homemade sauerkraut using the cabbage from the food trucks and some of the salsa. And I have some chips that I will be pulling out and serving it. And then the piece de resistance, or whatever is left of it, is this apple crumble using the apples from the food pantry as well. So that is using one one portion of this turkey meat for dinner tonight. Okay, I am about ready to do my second uh, turkey taco meat meal. And we're going to do taco soup tonight. I don't think I have any more. I might have a few more chips that will go really well, kind of sprinkled on top. 
But another reason why I'm really am trying to do this meal tonight is because I have some freezer uh, beans that I want to make sure get used up. So um, I cook my beans. When I have to cook a batch of beans, I will tend to cook uh, several batches so I can just have some in the freezer. And then I can pop them in the crock pot just like this. So I have two pinto beans and one white beans. I would love to have a black bean in here. Um, but I didn't have any in the freezer. And I do have some canned ones, but this will be just fine. So I have these um, three things of black beans. These were not all the way filled. So I have my meat. I have about two cups of homemade bone broth in the bottom here. I just cooked up a whole bunch of chicken um, to kind of like freezer prep meals. Um, and so that's also from the food pantry, all that chicken. So... Um, I just cooked all the bones up and, oh, I'm sorry, no, I, I just took the broth from this, from all this chicken cooking up, and just put it in the bottom of here. I have my taco meat, I have a can of corn, I have a can of olives, and I have some, these jars of salsa that I need to kind of clean out and use up. So that's all going to go in here, and then, um... We have some chips that we can serve with it, but I'm actually going to um, cook up some tater tots and we can serve it with some tater tots. And that's what we're going to have for dinner and that's for meal two. And here's dinner. Mommy. I've got a bunch of other things to load it up on or load up on it. Okay, so we are on the third night of what I'm going to do with this taco meat. And I think this is going to get stretched much further than I thought. Um, so, right here, I did purchase a couple, or a couple, I did purchase a 79 cent soft taco. I have the flour tortillas. I had a refried beans that I had put in the freezer. So I, so I had this in the freezer. Last time I made a batch. Yes, I am throwing it away. Wasteful girl that I am. I have a full couple of days here. I'm just, I'm throwing it away. <laughs> but, um, it's okay, baby. So, I'm going to put some of that on here. I'm going to top it with a little bit of cheese, and then I'll put some of the taco meat on top of that with a little more cheese. I have these olives left over from the salad we had earlier, and the salad will also be for dinner. And I'm just going to make a little taco pizza with some... Um, hot sauce on top and that's going to be for dinner. Okay, so I have two, or I'm sorry, I have four of uh, Mexican pizzas into the oven right now and um, there is just enough left that would have made a, um, I made enough for the two girls. So, you know, yeah, that's six, but um, my two youngest would probably split a pizza um, especially because I'm serving it with some um, asparagus that we got from the food trucks. But I don't have my two girls here tonight, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a um, quesadilla with this stuff. Kind of the same idea, but just plop a um, tortilla on top. And then my husband has a loaded quesadilla to take to work tomorrow for lunch. So it made six, it didn't quite make seven. Oh, I'm sorry. It made six, but it will feed our seven because, again, the two youngest would probably split one like that. And honestly, I don't think um, if my daughter was here, that's one reason why I'm doing this. I don't think she would do this. I think there is still some leftover taco soup from last night. That's what she would do. Um, but yeah, so I will show you what that looks like here in a little bit. Once the spedigus is done. Well, I would say it turned out pretty darn good. So for today's recipe, I want to show you how I'm using leftovers to make tonight's dinner. So the two main leftover ingredients I'm using are some cornbread muffins. Now I had made these to go with the taco soup, which is the second ingredient. Um, I made a batch and my daughter misunderstood and thought she needed to make a batch, so she made a batch as well. And so we had 24 cornbread muffins that uh, we did 
to not eat all of them. So I'm going to make, what do they call it? Um, uh, we, I knew it as tamale pie, and that just meant that it had cornbread in it. So Tex-Mex casserole, I think, is another one. But um, yeah, instead of making this from scratch, I'm going to start with my taco soup. And this is pretty, you know, it's not as runny anymore. It's a pretty, you know, solid consistency. We're going to start with putting that at the bottom of our pan. In normal tamale pie or Tex-Mex casserole, whatever you want to call it, um, you would make the corn meal batter or cornbread batter. You'd layer half of it on the bottom and then you would add um, your filling and then you would layer the top with another one. But... I'm going to do it this way. So, I think I told you I'm going to put half of this, I'm going to dump this in here. I'm not. There are three, six, there are ten muffins here. I'm just going to take I like to keep it easy. Another way to do this, which I was thinking about doing, except uh, the kids wanted a snack and used half my tater tots to have that snack. Um, but another way you could do this, and how I was thinking about doing it, was layering a layer of tater tots on the bottom, using my taco soup over that, and then topping it with some crumbles. So that is, what, two, four, six, Seven, that's three muffins at the bottom and I think that's going to be it and I'm just going to layer this top one on top of that. Since my daughter will not be here, um, the one that I really need to make sure that doesn't get a whole lot of dairy, she will not be here for dinner. So the next thing I'm going to... And personally, I don't know if you really need this next step, but it it does add a little pizzazz to it. So I'm going to add a just a thin layer over the top of sour cream. Let's see. Let me create a little. Now, I'm thinking, well, I was thinking I'll just do the cheese and then I'll do the cornbread, but now I think I'm going to do the cornbread and then I'm going to add the cheese. And pretty much, I'm just going to put this in the oven for 350 and all I really need to do is just heat it up again. I will be covering it because I think these are going to get really hard and I don't necessarily want that. Um, so I'll heat it up for about 20 minutes in the oven, take the cover off, and then do another 5-10 minutes so that the cheese melts. And I have a little treat that I'm going to put on top of this. And I, I have no doubt there will be leftovers of this. Okay, I have two left. So that means that there's going to be two little snacks later for somebody that needs a snack. That's how I do snacks around here. I have my 99 cent organic cheese find. $3.50 and I'll check back in 30 minutes and here's how it turns out and then I just topped it off with can I see that but it's upside down because I wanted the uh, all the smashed end pieces so I just cut it from the bottom off and there we go I just topped it with that there's some sour cream if anybody wants it there's some asparagus and then I also have 
a little bit of Brussels sprouts left over. So that's tonight and that's a bonus meal that we weren't expecting. Hi, I'm here to share with you another meal that I'm making with that taco meat. Now this is going to be a little bit of a twist on one that I have already made and done a video for. You can check that down below, but that's the video. And I don't have celery today, which is one of the key ingredients for that. However, I have zucchini. So we are going to make rice business, as my mom calls it, um, with zucchini. So for this, uh, you will need a celery or zucchini of your choice and an onion. And that's how we're going to get started making this. As always, all of the recipes I do are down in the description box below. Okay, so for the rest of the ingredients, I cooked the onion and zucchini until they're about done. I added the taco meat to it, and then I opened a can of diced tomatoes and added that. I would recommend some salt and pepper, especially because this can of diced tomatoes is from our food pantry, and it's the no added salt, so that's going to need a little bit more. And then also with this, I added um, a couple tablespoons of Italian seasoning, and I added just a tiny bit more taco seasoning to this. And then once the rice is done, we'll serve it up over rice, and it's really good with some Parmesan cheese on top. And here it is. Just serve it over rice, and have at it. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video, sharing with you what I did with the three pounds of turkey meat. Um, hope that was fun and enjoyable, kind of gave you a little bit of variety of ideas. Um, I believe I calculated between one to two dollars per serving, so that was fantastic. Thank you for watching today's video, and I will link the video showing the grocery haul and I will catch you on the next one.